يا راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه مطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن وتعلم الفقه الميسر عاملا بالشرع دون تعصب لفلان بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه أما بعد Now why would I have to perform wudu? Because I'm in the state of minor ritual impurity What generally causes this minor ritual impurity? defecating, urinating, or passing of wind among sleeping and eating camel's meat. So what we usually do on daily basis is the first two, urinating, defecating, and maybe passing wind. I have to perform wudu. However, this type of relieving yourself in Islam has etiquettes. You gotta be kidding me. No, I'm not. The disbelievers came to Salman al Farisi, may Allah be pleased with him. And they said to him, Your Prophet وسلم, taught you everything, including how to relieve yourself. And they're mocking this issue, meaning that this is too much. Salman did not let it slide. He said, yes, he told us not to face or give our backs to the Qibla. He told us not to hold our private parts with our right hands or not to wipe ourselves with our right hands and to, to not use less than three uh, pebbles or stones, etc. So our religion is complete, unlike any other religion on earth. And it's not from Tom, Dick or Harry. It's from the Quran that is preserved until the Day of Judgment and from the Prophet's teachings that is also preserved. So what is or what are the etiquettes of relieving yourself? First of all, we have to understand and know the fact that humans have been answering the call of nature since Adam, peace be upon him. So it's not a new thing. It's not a thing that you should burden yourself and be obsessed with like so many people are due to shaitan's whispers, making them OCD patients. This is a natural thing, a normal thing that happens every day. So when a person urinates or defecates, he has to clean himself and to clean oneself from such filth or dirt is done through two means or two ways. One is known as al-istinja and the other is known as al-istijmar. Istinja is to wash your private part with the front or back passage with water. Nothing else. You have to wash it with water. Al-istijmar is to wipe off the traces of such filth using pebbles, stones, hard surface like toilet paper or cloth or anything that would purify the passage. Not the inside, rather the exterior part of it. And part of the etiquettes is to do that in odd numbers so the minimum is three wipes then five then seven and etc and 
this is optional, whether to use water or to use hard substance like toilet paper. But if there isn't anything to wipe with, then it is a must to use water. What are some of the etiquettes of relieving one's uh, um, self? Number one, the dua. It is sunnah that before you go to the toilet or to answer the call of nature to say the dua, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubthi wal khaba'ith, which translates to Bismillah, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the male and female devils. And saying Bismillah is a visor or a screen between our aura, our private parts, and the eyes of the jinn. So these toilets are inhabited by jinn and devils. When we say Bismillah, they're blinded. They can't see. So it is essential to say this when you go in. And when you go out, the sunnah, as in the hadith of Mother Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, that you say, Ghufranak, or I seek your forgiveness. And this is what uh, um, uh, the Prophet used to say, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. And you can say other duas such as, Alhamdulillah, Alladhi Adhaba Anni Al Adha wa Afani. All praise be to Allah who has relieved me from this harmful thing and, and, and given me good health, etc. Part of the etiquettes of entering the lavatories is to use your left foot when you enter and use your right foot when you exit. And also part of the etiquettes and sunnah as mentioned earlier that you only use your left hand when you hold your private part or you clean your private part uh, uh, not your right hand, only your left hand. And the hadith is, the Prophet said, when any one of you urinates, he must not uh, hold his private part with his right hand. Rather, this means that he has to use his left hand. And some scholars say that part of the etiquettes of answering the call of nature when urinating specifically is that a person sits down or squats because this is what was generally practiced by the Prophet ﷺ. It is safer for a person that he would not have any ricochet from his own urine coming back to his body and to his clothes. And it is more concealing of his aura if he's in the open rather than when he's standing up. Nevertheless, it was proven in Sahih al-Bukhari that the Prophet ﷺ did urinate while standing up. So it is permissible totally to urinate while standing up. It is totally prohibited to answer the call of nature in places that would harm people. So in the places where they walk, in their ways, in their uh, streets, in the places that they seek shade under a tree, in reservoirs or places they may use to drink water, and you soil that and spoil it by urinating, the, all of this is totally prohibited and a cause and means of attaining Allah's curse upon the individual who does this. Also among the things that need to be careful with, facing and giving your back to the Kaaba, to the Qibla, when urinating or defecating. And this is an issue of dispute among scholars regarding whether we're prohibited from doing this in an open area while in a closed area or within the structure of a building that is permissible, this is an issue of 
dispute. And the most authentic opinion is, inshallah, that if you are in a building or in a lavatories or toilets that are built in the facing or giving your back to the Qibla, you have no other uh, choice or alternative. But when you're constructing your house, it's a must upon you to change the direction and Allah Azza wa knows best. What is not recommended? Yes, it is permissible, but it's not recommended to do when uh, uh, you're answering the call of nature. You should try to avoid answering the call of nature, and that is urinating, where there is wind that may bring back your urine back to your body. So don't urinate in the direction of the wind. Rather, let it be with the wind so it goes away from your body. And it is not at all recommended to speak. It's, part, it's not part of the etiquette of Islam to speak or talk when answering the call of nature, unless there is a necessity. What people do in public lavatories, chit-chatting and, and, and talking is indecent uh, altogether. Also, it is not recommended to urinate in a hole in the ground for the fear that it might be inhabited by jinn or reptiles or snakes that may come back to you and harm you. And also, it is not recommended to enter lavatories while answering the call of nature with anything that may contain the name of Allah Azza wa Jal, such as uh, um, notes with the name of Allah or the Quran, etc. Unless you are afraid that it may be stolen. Some banknotes have the name of Allah on them. If you keep your wallet outside, you'll come back most likely not to find it. Likewise, if you put your Quran and you fear that people would snatch it and run away with it, then this is a necessity that you have to uh, accompany it with you if there is no one else uh, to save it for you. Okay, then what about mobile phones? I have my Quran app on it and some books. There's no problem because when you have a CD or your uh, uh, app in a mobile phone, it's not the actual Quran. You cannot see it. You cannot touch it. It's data stored on it, and as long as it's not open and it's not displayed in the lavatories or in the toilets, there's no problem with that, and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'i. Ya raghiban fi kulli ilm nafi'in Yanmu al-alm wa yataqaddam Itaqaniyyatihi wa majalatah ومعه مطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن وتعلم الفقه الميسر عاملا بالشرع دون تعصب لفلان بشرى دنازات أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان